Which uh, uh, dude Desi has has a pretty good question that is often asked. Uh, doesn't First Thessalonians two fourteen to fifteen make the claim of a historical crucifixion of Jesus by the Jews? Right. So let's uh, bracket the question of whether that's an interpolation or not. Um, regardless of whether it's an interpolation or not, the question still holds. What did the author of those verses mean? Uh, and and yes, I do think that whoever wrote that understood jesus to have been killed by the jews uh and so um i don't actually i can't remember if it actually has the word crucified in it um it's been a while since i looked at that but um <clears throat> whether it does or not uh it would be a reference to the jewish method of execution just like when paul in galatians says that he's hung on a tree for us uh which is a, basically a, a sort of paraphrase of De the deuteronomy verse that Ehrman mentioned uh in in your interview um Whereas the, the word is the same, staros, and, and crucif crucifixion is the verbal form of staros, um, hung on a tree. So it just means hung on a stake. Staros can also mean tree, so hung on a tree, it's the same. Uh, the words are the same, so you can't tell from the word which is meant. It means both. Um, so, yeah, I think whoever wrote that uh, had, no, uh, so had no intention of implying that, that uh, Pontius Pilate killed Jesus. So it, it's someone else, some other Christian uh, idea. Uh, that's out that's off the um the off the broken path essentially of the gospel narrative yeah uh, i know at least the niv version uh, just renders that it, it's the jews who killed the lord jesus that's what yeah, it says so it, it, right uh, yeah, i'm not so sure not, about the greek version crucified. right right see it's even that supports it even more now that doesn't mean it's not possible that the author of that sort of was alluding to the roman crucifixion that's totally possible too. Uh, I don't want to rule that out. Um, I just think it's it is slightly on the weird side uh, that they wouldn't frame it that way. That they they didn't frame it as the Jews getting Jesus killed. They frame it as the Jews killing Jesus, um, right? So the Romans are just not even in the picture. So that that does imply some sect of Christians who were preaching or teaching uh, the that Jesus was killed by the Jews. There's hints of that in the Lucan narrative where Jesus gets handed over to Herod and then he has to hand him at, back to Pilate. Um, there's, I think there's, there's even, there's some suggestions of apocryphal gospels that had Herod doing the crucifixion. Um, so, so we know there were some of this, these offshoot sects that are even based on the Roman, uh, the Roman empire gospel. So the, the Mark and stuff like that. Um, so we know there were some, some G or Christians sort of interpreting it that way uh, in different ways, but, um, but we don't have anything concrete. So who knows? Uh, we can't say for sure. Yeah.